So we are on our way to pick up another owner surrender. Because if we do, then that's really bad. Whoever trimmed him took his heel all the way off. starting to change color um, pretty soon the trees will be bare and we're gonna have snow on the ground We are on our way to pick up another owner surrender. We have had quite a few owner surrenders in the last couple weeks. Um, the lady was not able to pay the surrender fee or transport, but we were able to do a fundraising post and thanks to our donors and supporters and followers, we were able to raise the funds so we can uh, cover his expenses once he arrives at the shelter. Oh boy. Good job. Tail is sticking out. <laughs> well, we are back at the shelter with Seuss. Kylie's gonna get him unloaded here. I'm not sure. Okay, you can open it. You're all right, bud. You're okay. He is a little sore, so we're gonna keep him in a stall till we can get the vet out and go from there. So the hydrant over here on the east side of the barn stopped working. So Tanner is here taking a look. And now it's working? Was it working when you turned it on? Not all the way, it should have way more flow than that. Yeah, and we couldn't get anything out of it this weekend. Or at least not enough to go through the hose, maybe. Right. I need a rebuild kit for it. I don't know what that means. Like a new hydrant? No, a new hydrant wouldn't be good. No, that's a lot of concrete to bust out. And dig down. <laughs> so, try to rebuild pit first. I don't, these things are good for breaking underground. So. Oh, that's great to know. Yeah. And now nothing. We don't get anything to come out of it yesterday. We have a piece still in the room. No. I want to leave it on, but it keeps leaking past this. So we hooked up a nozzle that won't leak, and we said to leave this on for a while and see if we end up getting any water coming up from the ground around it. Cause if we do, then that's really bad. 
he's gonna go ahead and order a rebuilt kit and try that anyway, but let's hope we don't get water coming up. So Kristen was able to get out here right away today and take a look at Seuss. It's not just the lost powder. <laughs> Hi, sir. I think the one pile in here is kind of loose, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe he'll straighten that out though after being here for a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna take your temperature, don't get upset. Yeah. Easier said than done. Sir, are you gonna be the boy? I can take your blood and then I'm gonna look in your little mouth. See if you really are 10. Good Seuss. I think you should be Dr. Seuss. I know. Call him Doc. Yeah, Doc. You didn't mind that at all, did you? Yeah, Nothing they're... serious, bro. Yeah, they're young. Good. Ten works? Yeah, ten works for me. Huh? I just have to take your picture is the only other thing. You said you don't know if they did x-rays or anything, no? Yeah, I don't know. Marissa might know, but she's not here. Well, maybe get him settled in, and then he might need a full lameness eval then. Please? I know. That's nice. Can you stand on that left one? We need an x-ray machine, don't we? Yeah, I wanna know, or unless they have records that they can send, you know, if they've had exams or x-rays, like you say, done on him. Because mm -hmm. I mean, he almost like, he hold, when he walks, he almost goes out with it. Ooh, I'm looking at you. Toes out just a little bit. You see his knee is kind of yeah. pointing out, mm -hmm. but his toe isn't quite as far on that side. So maybe it's a confirmation issue with him too. Versus she she thought there was actually an injury that happened. Yeah. Is what I started. believe so. That's what okay. I remember. Yeah. But okay. Let's uh right. yeah, let him get settled, I guess, and then maybe we can do more more of a lameness eval and he might be one that would need like the joint injections to really evaluate that, which no, we have to get the, the, Yeah. We might have to get somebody else to do that then. Okay. Let me take your picture, mm -hmm. sir. Yeah, I'm going to turn on this way. It is 7 o'clock at night. I'm out here doing evening chores, which I do pretty much every night to one extent or another. And then Nate just pulled up our last bag in the small bales to unload. A lot of people don't realize when everybody's gone, even when evening chores have been done, I still come out shut the barn down, make sure everyone has water and food for the night. Um, and here we are. A little bit of maybe a chance of rain, so we want to get this wagon unloaded. Actually, when we came back from the bubble ride on Saturday, um, I had Brooke and um, Kylie and Kaya with me. And I asked them, you know, 5, 5, 3 at night. You guys want to help me do chores quick because on the weekends there's only ever 
anybody here in the morning. Tuesdays and Thursdays as well. But anyway, so they helped me, which was awesome. And uh, Kai actually said, do you do this every night? And I do. Um, so if you haven't done your work that day, I'm gonna know it. But it's not that I'm out here looking for people not doing their job. I'm out here making sure the horses have food and water for the night. Obviously, Cordelia's fine. As far as food. But she needed water. So I got me some. Sunny here, she often does. Uh, gets her hay bag on the ground. I don't know how. Jeez. You're a pro, honey. I don't know how you do it. But she's a pro. She almost always gets her hay bag on the ground. So we'll pick it up again. Stud boys were down a hay bag. Um, and I see Envy and Cannoli need one. Everyone else looks good. What are you doing? Nothing. Uh, unloading. <laughs> unloading the last of our hay crop from 2023. This is a fourth crop off the field up the road. Um, you know, it looks like it might rain. It was really hard to get this dry. Um, anybody who knows about uh, making hay in September in Wisconsin, it's really hard to get it dry because you have dew in the morning um, and then that comes off about 9 o'clock or so and it starts to dry then you can rake it. But by 5.30, it better be dry, ready to bale. So it was a lot of work getting this hay dry. And don't want to get it rain down. Um, so, no, most people get it how It's a lot of work to do what we do, but we, I enjoy this. Mm -hmm. the satisfaction of getting the hay baled dry. Um, we made... 140 bales. You know, we, if we had to pay 10 bucks a bale, that's $1,400. Yeah. Um, made ourselves. And, My arms got well, tired. Cost very little. <laughs> so we got the wagon unloaded. Um, tougher ones right here. They'll get fed right away. These also. And it actually started to rain a bit. Yeah, Not good. a whole lot yet, but yeah. I just had a raindrop on my wrist. Nice getting the hay inside. So haying 2023 is now officially done. Completely? I think I so. Said that like three times. Oh, well, I think now we're done, done. There's one field you were thinking about, but I'm, yeah. I'm voting no. Exhausted? Woo. Um, you know, some of them are pretty heavy, but... Well, you got your workout for the day. That's why we're 50 and still functional. There you go. 50 and functional. That should become a thing. Because <laughs> there's too many not, that aren't. Not 50 and fit, just functional. Functional. Oh, fit? No. Nah. No, I think we're somewhat fit. Well, functionally fit. Right. We, get, we can we, do this. Right. Just the two of us. Run a marathon? No. No. Unload no. hay? Yes. Yes. Nice work, team. Go, team. <laughs> it is 8 o'clock the next morning. This is still running. And no water. So I think we're good. We'll let Tanner know. So we've been wanting to do a learning session video with trailer driving and backing up for a while. Summer just not, has not let that happen. So, Marissa's been doing a lot of trailer hauling. Now she's going to start doing some trailer backing. Let's see how she does. Big stretch.
Nice yes. job. Beautiful. Slow, but beautiful. I said it would take me time. <laughs> So me and Kylie are grabbing Denali and Scrappy. They are going home together today and I have to take them. So we're going to get Denali loaded up first and then we'll get Scrappy on the trailer and we'll take him to their new home. There you go, honeys. Good job. Now we got to get Scrappy loaded. Let's see how this goes. Here comes Scrappy. <laughs> He's gonna go home with Denali. So I'm gonna kind of stay back here. Let him sniff it out, feel it out. Just go slow. Oh, good boy, Scrappy. Yeah, Denali's up there. Good boy. You got it, buddy. Good boy. There you go. You're all right, buddy. Put your back foot up like you just did. Good boy. Oh, buddy. Just go slow with it. Go ahead, Ray. You can close a little. Nice. Closed. Good boy, Scrap. Me, Scrappy, and Denali have arrived. Now let's get unloaded. Okay. This is what you did when you got here, too. You just stood there. All right, I'm going to try and open the other side. You're okay, bud. Here, maybe I'll, uh, I'll switch with you, and then you can try and grab the rope. He's coming. Yep. Are you gonna come out? Well, now you're on your lead rope, Goofy. You gonna come out, Denali? You're on your lead rope again. You're on your lead rope again. Ma'am. You're gonna make me have to let go. Don't jump out on me. Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That was a little dramatic. You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> Good job. There you go. Right. One, two, three. I said, of course, to the horse. And smile. Denali. Walk that way with you first, huh, buddy? Lucy, leave it. Good boy. There we go. So this is also where TGM and Romeo live. Oh, that's TGM. <laughs> They'll make good friends. And Scrappy's gonna hang out with TGM and the babies for a little while till he gets more comfortable being here and acquainted with all the people. Well, all the people being these two. <laughs> So yeah, yay Scrappy and Denali. <laughs> Scrappy. <laughs> he says, excuse me, children. <laughs> I don't know if he knows how to horse yet. <laughs> Be nice, TGM. I think they'll do all right. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Come here. Oh. I don't know. 
about that. Ew, guys. Nope. Nope. I bet he came from there. All right. Well, anyway. Denali. Oh, everyone else is excited. Denali. <laughs> Have fun with that. <laughs> oh, let's be friends, girl. <laughs> yup. They said a new friend. Everyone's like, come on, Tanali, let's get away from her. <laughs> she says, but hold me. Hold me, help me. <laughs> Everyone's so excited. All right. Here you go, you two make friends. So we got the banner from Marquardt. They sponsored our x-ray machine, so we have to hang this up. I'm trying to form a game plan. Um, come up on your side of the road. There you go. So Polly has arrived. <laughs> We've got quite a few horses today, so we're gonna get started. So we are going to start with Sandy today. In the past, she hasn't been the best for her feet, so we're hoping today goes a little bit better, but we are gonna start with sedation right off the bat. If we can get her good and drugged, I've got different shoes for her. Okay. So while we wait for the sedation to kick in with Sandy, Gus is just going to get a trim. I figure there's enough draft horses off to come back next Thursday. I left it open on purpose. <laughs> Let's reset him. So are shoes something he's going to need long term? Yeah. So up next is Memphis. She just needs a tram. Up next is Seuss. Polly's just going to take a look at his feet and see what he thinks. Okay. Whoever trimmed him took his heel all the way off. Well, let's just see what we can...
Does he look like he's standing on his toe more? For you, like, to you? And I oh, took just yeah. toe. Okay. More forward. Please. How he should be. How about this? Let's trim him. And if he's a wreck, when I come back next week to finish what we don't finish today, we just shoe him. I used to like big horses, but now I'm fat and old and crippled and can't quite get on. <laughs> Let's kind of see how he does this week in the first part of next week, and then we'll know. He's got nice feet, just needs to be more upright, but we'll get him there. So I knew like there wouldn't be anything that would grow, but I was hoping something would expand to offer as like a false heel. Mm -hmm. And then in time you could put a bar shoe on for that full support. But it hasn't even like calloused up, hardened up at all. Like nothing. It looks like the same as the day we trimmed her and put shoes on. Not gonna get better. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I mean, with everything else she's got going on, I don't think it's a great outcome, plus her age, plus her attitude with the way her feet are. We stand, like, splayed like that in the back to mm -hmm. compensate, to take pressure off? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I think she also has something internally going on. The amount of air we've been hearing come out of her lately. And yeah. The mucus and the discharge. Well, and you guys are pretty damn good at putting weight on horses, and I feel like she's been a very slow gainer yeah. since I... <coughs> yeah, I know, you got a nice eye, you're just a... Unfortunate. So, Polly wanted Molly to grow a little bit more hoof last time, so he's going to take a peek this time and see if there's anything he needs to do. You're making me think. <coughs> God, you might just amount to something by spring, but I need different nails. What are you doing? Thinking her feet are actually coming along faster than I was anticipating. One, obviously, the other one needs some time, but I'm kind of surprised they went that fast. Don't. don't. Shawnee, she uh, is said to have chronic laminitis. This is that one. That was in cows. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Eating corn. Eating corn. Yeah. Cute. She had a really bad abscess in this one that's dead. It completely shedded the soul. You want a walker? I just want to see if... Okay, maybe she'll be fine. No, don't. Here's the ultimate test. Okay. Good on the rocks? Yeah. Good to go. Right. I... So I yeah, I wouldn't do that. So we're gonna check Sunny here, see how her feet are doing with her shoes. Let's throw her in the stock then. She's got a lot of growth, which is good. Some kind of progress? 
Lots of progress. But not ready to go barefoot. So we're gonna let Cordelia settle down here with the sedation. And Holly brought his saw. And we're gonna work on those feet. So up next we've got Jalapeno. He's been lame on and off, so Polly's gonna take a look at his feet and see if he can figure anything out. Why do you do that? He's really hot in his fetlocks though. I would, I mean, do you know the previous history on the horse? It would make sense, I mean, cow horses always use their back end. And even if a cow horse doesn't need injections, I would say just do it anyways for yeah, I mean, I know like those um, tie-down ropers. Um, I've heard of them guys getting injections on their horses as often as they get them shod. Yeah, this is going to be the hard part, ain't it? So he is pretty sore in his back end. We're going to pop him in the stock to try and give him some support so we can get that right hind trimmed. That was close. Yeah, I'm not going to get too fancy because he's already stressed out. His farrier ghosted him, huh? Yeah. For four years? Custom thought, you know, just try it. Yep. And start with the feet and go from there. See it a lot in donkeys, but not... Full-sized horses. Yeah. Not as much as you used to. Alright. You're gonna feel a little vibration. Does Nate have a different blade by chance? Maybe. Something. Wood blade, metal blade. What's that? Well, it ate teeth right off. <laughs> I'm glad this horse has patience. Yeah. I hope she can walk after this, though. Doesn't lay down and give up. Safety first. Come on, you poor thing.
people are shitty. Don't even know if she'll come out of it. I mean, the, the one is rotated like that, and then the one is buckled over so much. So I don't know. Do you think it's not worth sawing the other one off? Based on what you've seen? There's way too much rotation. Especially even in the leg. Mm -hmm. The one that we haven't cut yet. This is all twisted. Took her three, four years to get that way and it'll take her ten to come out of it. Still had a chance to, though. She's so used to walking on that one side. Now that the weight is off, she's completely buckling that whole ankle. You're okay, hon. I'm sure that coffin bone is just like... So Dr. Kristen is on her... <laughs> Dr. Kristen is on her way out. Um, she, <laughs> you're gonna ruin my audio. <laughs> Dr. Kristen is on her way out. She's gonna take a peek at a couple of the newer surrenders that have gotten here and see what we can find out. You have to keep all of this. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we just surprised. Like, I don't know just how kidding. much time you have, but there's mm -hmm. the eye guy. Yep. You think he might be okay? Yeah, he's doing better. Might, what you recommend? Okay, be good. Okay if she, might not be bad if she peeked at it. Yeah, yeah, I can peek at it. But then we had like four quick events. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Yeah, we can do that. Oh yeah, he's mouthy. Yes. All well, right. we'll start with we'll Simba. Start. Simba. Right. Simba. What C Y M B A. She said that he would like be fine, and then all of a sudden it would seem like he loses complete control of his back end. Mm -hmm. okay. But his pasterns are low, also. Definitely. And then I was just watching him out in the pasture, and he went to like lay down. He went down on his knees. I was like kind of like this, and then he just stood up. So I'm not even sure he can lay down. Oh, interesting. Or if he was just afraid to, because another horse. It's, well, and it's hard to get up. Definitely. Um, do you want to go all to the end of the barn and turn him? He is a little bit, isn't he? Let's just do a walk for now. I think everyone's going to get too excited if we get to running in here. He about hits the ground with that right rear one, doesn't he? Will he back up? So it's not like he's picking him up too high. Can you keep going, sir? Come on. Let's watch you lift those things up. Okay. All right. Are you a good night? Nice boy. Can I touch your tail? All right. Let's take a little walk. We're going to do a little tug. This is a good spot where I can... Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. He's not real good at that. No. All right, let's go the other direction. We could even do it outside maybe a little bit. I got more room. Hey, sir. He resists it a little bit. Got some strength when he does that though. Ooh, now he's really acting sore almost. 
I would agree some of that's neurologic. It's not just the gait abnormality from the drop talk, but like after doing that, he just really was kind of walking funny. Yeah, now we don't. No, he doesn't want to go to all. I know I pissed him off. Let's, we can go back in. I just, I want to keep watching him walk after doing that. That's all right then. Well, we'll take, evaluate him the rest of the way and do the, they said, so they knew he was kind of neurologic was they, they hadn't had an evaluation done or an exam or anything like that. Okay. Hi, sir. It's nothing to a crazy extent. Gotcha. He's like, don't ever touch my tail again. The drop talks wouldn't be from an EPM, but some of that neurologic stuff can be. So that's a possibility if you guys want to do EPM testing. Um, but the other thing would just be to get him on Hey, watch your butt. Do the vitamin E and selenium supplement because that's sort of like a treatment for EPM. And just nerve issues in general, 100.9. He had the muscle, he was just unbalanced. You know what I mean? Like eventually he could, he could stop me, but he just, it's just, it was easy to take him off balance. You think even with the extent of that possible organ of damage there, the, or tendon, the I wouldn't ride them when they're that bad because you put weight on them and it gets so much worse. Mm -hmm. But I've seen plenty of geldings as they get older that they're dropped like that about hitting the ground and they don't like laying down and they don't do well on the ice, but they can have like some quality of life because it's not that it's necessarily painful right then and there. Mm -hmm. So, yep. I had one we dealt with for years and years and he was so disgusting when he walked that he pretty much was smacking his fetlock on the ground and he just never liked to lay down because he knew it was hard to get up. So that might be like what you were seeing out there. He was kind of nervous about getting up. He might be tough to do farrier work on too. I don't know if he'll like to pick that up. All right, let's take a look at your teethers to make sure that that's 11 makes sense. Hey, let me see. Yeah, you're young. I'd go with 11 then. He doesn't need a Coggins or anything? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm curious if he can, if he'll even like pick it up. Or if he'll... He is? Okay. No, oh, no, no. Hey, big guy. Just kind of curious how you do that. I don't know, just seeing what you think. Both the Tobias are in general. Oh my gosh, they are. Okay. I'd still do vitamin E and selenium and then see how he does. And if you want to consider doing the EPM test, that'd be the next thing for that muscle weakness. Curled underneath. Twisted. And then her buddy was the the one the that, buckskin too. Yeah. Frankie. Yeah. Well she because she had the muscle nerve issue too. Yeah. Is she the one that we were going to see if she was pregnant, or is that a different yeah, one? Yeah, but Ray said she was squirting and flashing like she was in heat the other day, so we're kind oh. of hopeful then that she's not. Not. Okay, so you're going to try a little bit on her, or are you thinking she... He said she... he can't do anything. Yeah. Okay. He sawed this one off, and he's like, I'm not even going to bother with the other one, because this one's so bad. Mm -hmm. I can't that believe... Feel that feel that well, I just can't believe... Oh, jeez. <laughs> she's not a pony. You know what I mean? That's what doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Sucks. I can see some irritation right on the surface of the eye right there. Do you have the meds that they have on, right? It's Neopolydex and Vanity. I'll see if my light works. But, oh, you are kind of red. All right. Sure you don't have a fever with those goopy eyes? So you said he wasn't on any oral antibiotics or anything, right? Just the Neopolyback? Okay. Is he still on it now? Yes. Okay. And it's actually the Neopolydex. Neopolydex. Yes. Yep. Okay. And you haven't noticed any coughing or anything like that? Just the eye gerbers? Yep. I have not. Have you noticed any coughing from Toby? No. Okay. Hi, hey, sir. Your lymph nodes are not big, so that's good. I guess even if you wanted to just peek at his teeth to see sure. if you do think he is 26. Did you say 26 or 22 before? 26. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's a he's a 20 pluser. Aged on the Coggins, right? <laughs> Let's see what's looking like there. Hi, sir. He's like, what are we doing? Oh, I got it in your eye. 
That's so crazy stuff, huh? You gonna be a good boy? Can I put a little more in there? He's like, that feels funny. Ready? Open it wide. Mm -hmm. Aren't you good for eye medicine? Yeah, give me your big eyeball. Horse eyelids are just amazing, aren't they? So strong. Yeah, see, it's kind of absorbing stain a little bit over, there's a spot, right? Right towards the bottom, there was a kind of a stippled zone. So yeah, if you, I'll get you some Neopoly back instead of the Neopoly Dex, just because I don't want them to have the an issue. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, you see how it's right there, there's like a spot that it's green in it. I wish I had my, I wish I had my blue light. It really, okay. there, right yeah. down towards the bottom. You see that little pinpoint one? Come on, open up, sir. <laughs> He says, nope, I have the strongest eyelids that there are. You're going to let me look on this side? Maybe I'll look from a distance. Ooh, he's got a whole bunch of little pinpoint ones over here, he did. Hi, I know. Towards the bottom, see those ones down there? And I don't think those are just bubbles. Hmm. What did they say they thought it was a reaction to the bugs? Yeah. Right. I mean, he could have allergies that could give him like a goopy eye and stuff, but I'll just get you some Neopoly back to use. He can be on Banamine too anytime they're kind of irritated and swollen, but um, it's just like, it's like his corneas just aren't quite right, so hopefully we'll get them back to normal with a little Neopoly back. A girl, just an eval? She's supposed to have chronic laminitis, but she was also, I'm going to also the owner in pastoral cattle in the corn. <laughs> Neopoly did her food yesterday and he said you can't find it. <laughs> Maybe you, you're not supposed to be doing that. She was really, really obese. Oh, you are a baby. True. Are you, do you think that you're a stallion? Another one. You got one little tooth there. Can I see, do you have it on this side? Yep. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> That's just the... Well, the more teeth I look at, the more you find like those abnormal ones. I did some minis the other day that had wolf teeth that were shifted back into the inside of the first premolar, and then he had an underbite. And so the first two incisors were up, the rest of them were short, like you'd think he was younger. And then he, his top teeth came down to a point like a parrot because they were inside. Oh, he's just the goofiest. He's super sweet, Mr. Pickles. We, we floated him. Mr. Pickles? Well, he's Piccolo, but they call him Mr. Pickles. <laughs> so, loved him. There you go. There we go. And then you could even go with composers, too. There you go. You guys are going to run out of names. Never. <laughs> I was out. 99.7. Good job, sweetheart. But yeah, you said Polly did her feet, and he was like, uh, that looks fine. White lines are fine. Yeah, he basically said I'd... He do she doesn't even really... Here. I mean, she had a little bit of a line here. But... It's like it's growing out okay. Good girl. She doesn't have any digital pulses or heat or anything. You lined up okay? Yeah, you just had them done. She's pretty upright, but she's got plenty of foot there. So. Cool. I guess if she's been doing fine, then great. Eating a lot of high concentrates will do that to you, girl. Hi. Are you a good boy? Can I put stuff in your eye? Oh. That that scared it me? was so scary. Oh, are you pretty good about taking your medicine, though? Decent. I know. I just put a syringe to make it a little bit easier. Right. Easy. Hi. Hello. How's this eyeball? Yeah, they're both just sunken into his head in a funny way. Mm -hmm. oh, boy. Oh, that was a delayed reaction. That was a little yeah. Do you hear it? Yeah. Squish. <laughs> oh, you have kind of creepy eyes. I, and then you wondered, I mean, if they're really red, sure, but then sometimes they have abnormalities in their tear ducts and stuff too. And then it, that's why the tears are going over the side all the time and then they cause irritation. Gotcha. So I'd like to see if the green comes down his nose, then we would, you know, then we know that that tear duct is open at least. Yeah, it's like your eyes are just really sunk in. Hmm, you're goofy.
but his third eyelid isn't sticking out or anything. If the, when sometimes, if the the eyelid will droop, the third eye eyelid sticks up a little bit, and the eye kind of sinks into their head a little bit if they have a nerve issue. Okay. So like some sort of damage to that nerve on that side of the face. But he's symmetrical, and the third eyelid isn't sticking up. So it's not like Horner syndrome. Isn't he? Yeah, he just has a funny shaped. Sorry, buddy. We're not trying to tease you or anything like that, but your head isn't normal. Here comes the rain. <laughs> Acting like your feet were on fire the way you were dancing around, sir. I'm gonna take your temperature. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, you just... Hey, come on now. You know what? You don't seem to want to put any weight on this foot. I'll trick you. Ha ha. What do you think of that? Can't do it? Then maybe we'll walk him a little bit, just because I'm curious if he's going to walk out of that, or... Once I'm, once I'm finished. Sorry. We're still in the rectum. <laughs> All right, so now we let the stains set in your eye. I'm just trying to look at it from a distance. Oh, we do have. Green came out? Yeah. Love it. That's good. This side, the surface of the cornea seems sort of stipply too. You see how it's kind of like those little dots? Yeah, I did notice that. You go, boy, can I look? And this a little is the more? one that he's having the most problems with. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, those little white things on the bottom. Well, and some of that is from the. Like the bubbles from the stain I put on there, but it just seems like, like normally a cornea is a little more smooth. Like on this side, I put just as much stain over here, and you see it's just. Oh yeah, not as much. Yeah, and the last horse was kind of like that too, where it's like you had a little bit of dry eye too going on there, yeah. sir. Oh yeah, it's so, like a whole line. Over mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at least his tear duct is open, so I'm not as concerned about that being an issue. But if that's if the medications are working, let's keep on with our. Our course. Yeah, I mean, he's had it open at least. And then I'd like to just make sure you guys have a buttload of Uniprim and Banamine and Doxy. Yes. So, like, these eyeball things happen. Yeah. Doxy's my favorite for that. Perfect. So. Hi. You're doing a good job, buddy. He might not be quite that old, but that sounds fine. Hi, you're real slimy. About 17 then. <laughs> Yeah, because the rain's already done. He's almost stomping it a little bit. Kind of like a marble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how he reminds me. Why don't you back him towards us, too? He just got brought into the stall for like 45 minutes. Yeah, definitely worse on the one side. Getting all these weird neurologic horses, aren't you? Like, do you ever have so many of them? Yeah. It kind of goes with the territory. Yeah. That's why the people don't want them anymore. Yeah. Them, so. yeah. Okay. He really seems like that left rear is a lot. Yeah, kind of do the same type of thing. You can try the supplements and stuff with that, but now I'm not going to be real excited about putting a rider on him until that, yeah. So I don't think it hurts. No. The other thing you can try is gabapentin. We can see if something like that, if he's got a little nerve pain even going on down there with what's going on since it came on so quickly and he wasn't like that before. So... But in the meantime, you can do vitamin E and selenium, and then we can think about doing some gabapentin, too. Okay. OBY. OBY. And, have, and he's just an eval, too. We've not seen him. Just an eval, yeah. Um, You're cute. Yeah. But his feet need to be done. Yeah, you do need to put some on. You're missing some muscles here, huh? What's this? Not both sides. All right, mister. Let's see if you're really 20, maybe. Hi, you can be a good kid. Look at this big old muzzle on you. Jeez, you got so much food packed on your teeth, I can't see them. Oh, yeah, he's an old boy. You're a 20-something. 
Does that feel funny if I do that? Well, I just think this is funny. Look at all that food in your teeth. Brush your teeth. Silly thing. All right, buddy, I'll take your temperature next. He has a faint heart murmur. Yes. So like on that scale of one to six or zero to six, he's like between a one and a two. So like a one is one where you kind of have to shut your eyes and really, really concentrate to listen. And his I can, I can hear pretty good, but I wouldn't quite put it at a two. So he's an older boy. The valves break down with time. So he's been kind of sore. Can you tell at just at a trot? Sorry. Well, and at a walk after a trot. No, that would be inaccurate. Right. I'm going to get everybody all excited. <laughs> Bobby. Mm -hmm. Look, looks like it. Well, see if you'll let us pick that dinner plate up, sir. I'll go get my hoof tester. All right, big feller, would you let me? Did I hear something that maybe he's not excited about feet? Yeah, kind of the best. Oh, these big old things. Jeez. How does your farrier, how does he feel about doing all the drafts? <laughs> now that we have the stock a lot better. Oh, okay. Take a little bit of pressure off of him. Yeah. He would That's always good. say the nice thing about the drafts because he's so little is that they'd try to lean, but they couldn't. They just, they'd just topple over the top of him <laughs> if he's not careful. Yeah, those short farriers tend to do pretty good because then they don't have to spar to bend over. Let's just see what that spot's all about. Yeah, he's really not putting like any pressure on me at all. Okay, I am I might have to have you pinch because I'm running out of um, okay. width with my hands. You want to <laughs> come pinch Because I can't go across this heel, and I'm going to need to... Oh, oh, I think you're just getting... I think that you're just getting sick of this game. There, if you want to pinch right there. Okay, nothing there. He's just so big, I can't get my hands to the end of it. How about right here? Yeah, he's not really been acting like anything. Okay, right there. Oh. We just slid a little. Okay. Nothing really seems to be bothering him specifically, huh? Well, could be higher up. We don't know. Okay. Sir, are you finished? Yeah. <laughs> Still waiting on that sucker, huh? God, he has so much sole to come off of here. I just thought this spot would be kind of sore because it's so overgrown. You just have way too much extra, buddy. I can't get it all off. I don't have all the good tools. I don't like Polly. Yeah, he's going to be taking a lot off of this guy. Well, even out here, it's like this thing, those things are... Like where the wall is flaring, he's not. Hmm. You can have it down. Good boy. He did very good. You're a good drafty. Well, I, no, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> I just wanted to see if anything felt hot or swollen, and it really doesn't. I mean, one more time. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, I know. It's like, I don't know about that. Maybe I don't like bending my knee. Give me this. That's better. You were just being a turd nugget. Hmm. He doesn't tell me where. Okay. Let's just start with his feet, I would say, then. Because it obviously was the right front. Hi, hey, I'm just feeling it right now. Sorry. Faking you out. Now I'll take it. Thank you. No, no. Hey, hey. That's for me, sir. And now I'm definitely taking it because now you're being naughty. I just want to see if your knee bends. Good. Okay. There, I'll give it back. Thank you. 
Yeah, you did very good. You gotta put some muscle on your shoulders and everything too. Mm -hmm. They can damage a nerve up in there and lose all the muscle. Okay. Well, see what he finds when he does a better job at feet than me. <laughs> <laughs> We have some suspicions that True here might have a baby on board, so we're gonna have Kristen take a peek at her as well. There's like fluid in there. How um, long have you had her here? She's been here since May. Oh, okay. So we're not talking a little baby. I was thinking it could and be a little baby. <laughs> there's a brood there where she came from. Yeah. Her okay. last bull was supposed to be in 2021. Okay. Something really cute here. 99.7 is your temperature. Well, if you're a nice broodmare and you're used to this game, we're gonna wrap your tail up quick to get it out of the way and... She's been good. Oh, you stop. End, okay. She's like, oh God, not this. I put this part of my life behind me. Yeah. You got a little lump on your butt. Yeah, here. Oh, If she was gray, I would say it's a melanoma, but she's not gray, so hard to say. I think she's been stitched up before too. But you can see, so in mares, they'll, they'll do that where they take the top part of it and they stitch it. You see how this seems like it shouldn't. Kind of like a cast lick. A cast lick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's why even where the top is kind of unusual looking. She just looks like she's kind of nervous and going to start going side to side. Yeah. Once they're tense, I don't, I a gal called me earlier today. She was, her beef cow was calving and she's not overly comfortable with stuff. And she's like, there's a foot sticking out, you know, talking about what do I do and stuff. <laughs> she, she was sending me pictures, and literally during our conversation, she had the calf. Yeah. I was like, we're good, we're done, we're fine. <laughs> I did like 100 cows, 150 cows this morning. <laughs> what is all this fluid? Huh? Fluid? Mm, I see fluid, but it's like cloudy fluid, and so I'm not sure if she's just got a really full bladder that's in my way. Or what we're exactly looking at down there. Because if that's all uterus, it shouldn't be that cloudy. I know, this is so fun for everybody. I'm just not seeing where this fluid is here. It's because there's all these funky fluid pockets all over the place. Or I wonder if she could be bagging up if she had some pus in her uterus, you know what I mean? Then that could be messing with her hormones. Because if she could have been last bred in May, Okay, and she's got like a cystic ovary on that side. I wonder if she's just got a pile and that's why she's doing this, you know? Yeah, I think she's just got a bunch of pus in her uterus. So she might be like that mare we were just talking about over there, mm -hmm. where she might need to be flushed or something, but I didn't see a baby. All right, so tell me when. <laughs> Just uh, one, two, three. I said a course, a course to the, <laughs> of course to the horse. There you go, and smile. <laughs> okay, you're okay. Yeah, okay. Just do a safety quick release knot. Okay. I'm just gonna hold the door shut. So this is Chandler. He's a two-year-old POA. From the sounds of it, well, from the looks of it, he's got a roach back. Um, and he's having some issues with his eyes, so we're gonna get him settled in and we'll have Dr. Kristen take a look when she gets up here. You got it, there you go. Good job. Sure. Yeah, you can see that. 